Welcome to Mr. CFD. This video will discuss the optimization process and explain the related terminologies such as DOE, RSM, CCD, etc. Using an example, we will further introduce the mentioned methods and options. We will discuss the optimization process in ANSYS Workbench in basic terms and in a practical manner. We learn about direct and indirect optimization strategies as well as how to retrieve the software's output. The first step in analyzing the behavior of any system is to identify the affecting parameters. Next, the identify parameters should be varied to study how they can affect the whole system. Different parameter study methods can be connected. Different parameter study methods can be conducted to investigate the system behavior when the related parameters are varied. The simplest way is to change each parameter one at a time and observe the change. This method requires numerous experiments and is very time consuming. Besides, it is impossible to observe the interaction of different parameters and their combined effect on the outcome. To solve this problem, design of experiments or DOE method can help. Using DOE method, a researcher can account for all the possible combinations of affecting factors together and be confident regarding the coverage of all plausible cases. Using this method, not only can user come up with a table of experiments in which it includes all the needed input parameters and their combination, but also the users can define the range of changes for each parameter culminating in a table which its header are the input parameters and each row denotes a solution process or a design point. For example, here we have created the DOE table needed for the optimization process of a combustion chamber considering eight different input parameters including air inlet diameter, fuel inlet diameter, outer diameter and etc. Kindly like and subscribe to Mr. CFD channel and tap the bell to get new video updates. Using the table generated by ANSYS Workbench, we conducted 81 studies to access the combined effect of input parameters on the outputs, including outlet temperature, chamber heat flux, etc. It should be pointed out that the number of design points is highly dependent on the selected DOE type. Users can select among multiple options, including Central Composite Design or CCD, Box Banking Design, BBD, Optimal Space Filling Design, etc. in ANSYS Workbench software. The two commonly used methods to generate DOE tables are CCD and BBD. Essentially, the difference between the mentioned methods is how they divide the input factor's range of changes which significantly impacts the number of design points and accuracy of the study. For instance, using the BBD method, the defined range for each input parameter is divided into three different levels, including minus one, O, and plus one. Plus one and minus one denotes the maximum and minimum value for each parameter respectively, and zero indicates the value in the middle of the defined range. While in the CCD method, the division level increases to five different levels, including minus alpha, minus one, O, plus one, and plus alpha, in which the plus alpha and minus alpha are the maximum and minimum of the defined range for each input parameter. As you can see, the CCD method divides the range of each parameter into five levels and generates more design points compared to BBD method. However, the higher the number of design points, the longer the solution process and the higher the computational cost. On the other hand, increasing the number of design points can increase the accuracy of the optimization process. Optimize the design of a system. We can choose between direct or indirect optimization methods. Using the direct method, we can generate a design of an experiment table containing random sample taken from the parameter's defined range. In this example, 
the user has to define the needed targets such as maximizing the generated heat, minimizing the form pollution, etc. Then the software will start the optimization process and finally introduces the three best candidates points based on the user's objective. Direct method can be used to obtain the optimized solution quickly, however, no explicit intermediary or graphical data can be extracted for the effect of single or multiple parameters on the defined targets. In this case, the indirect optimization method can be helpful. In our example of optimizing the combustion chamber, we first use the central composite design or CCD method to generate the DOE table, which has fewer experiments than the direct methods DOE table. Then we use the response surface methodology to perform the optimization process. The RSM method uses machine learning algorithms such as genetic aggregation, Kriging, neural network, etc. to obtain a mathematical function that defines the targets based on the input parameters and shows this function through a surface. In simple terms, we first consider multiple affecting input parameters for a system, then using the CCD or BBD methods, we turn the defined range for each input parameter into separate points and combine the separated points of each parameter to obtain a design point. So the generated design points will form the DOE table. Subsequently, experiments or in our case simulations are conducted to obtain answers for the defined targets. Finally, the RSM method uses machine learning algorithms to get a mathematical function that predicts the system response due to the change in input parameters for cases that have not been investigated. As soon as you obtain an approximate function or model, you can test by the good fit method to see if the answer is satisfactory. If your answer not confirm, then the estimation process starts again and more experiments perform. Finally, when you obtain the appropriate function, also you can extract different types of graphical data, including surfaces that show the functionality of the targets based on the input parameters. As can be seen in the goodness of fit graph, there is a good agreement between the predicted values or predicted functions and the points which have been simulated. Therefore, you can trust the obtained data to give you the optimal values for each outlet parameter based on the inputs. You can extract many different three-dimensional surfaces to better view the results and understand the mutual effects of each input parameter over the output. You can see the relation between targets and input parameters for the combustion chamber optimization study. Again, as shown in this figure, almost all of the investigated cases have accumulated near the predicted model, indicating a good agreement between the simulated cases and the cases that the obtained model predicts. By viewing the local sensitivity chart, you can understand which input parameter affects output the most. The effect of each parameter on the output explains through assigning a value between minus 100 to plus 100. The value of minus 100 indicates the most negative effect while the value of plus 100 shows the most positive and of course the value of zero indicates no effect. For instance, in this project you can easily say that the combustion chamber's cone angular velocity I mean red color, and outer diameter, orange color, play a distinct role almost over all output parameters. Finally, in the spider chart, you can observe the responses for each parameter. For example, when we have the highest value for parameter 1, or outlet temperature, 2, outlet CO2 mass fraction, 4, average temperature, and 5, total heat generation and also 6 chamber heat flux parameter 3 outlet CO mass fraction will have its least value which is entirely logical since when we have a complete 
a stoichiometric reaction, the generated heat will reach its highest value while the mass fraction of CO will reach zero. You can benefit from more than 1000 of training product of CFT simulation by ANSYS Fluent software in every field that you can imagine through training shop of the Master CFT website. Our services are not limited to the mentioned subjects and the Master CFT freelancer team is ready to undertake different and challenging projects by our academic and industrial clients. We even accept carrying out CFT simulation for any abstract concept design you have in your mind to turn them into reality and even help you reach the best design for what you may have imagined. You can consult with our experts freely and then order your project by sending the details of the problem to us. By entrusting your project to the master CFD, you will not only receive the related project files like geometry, mesh, case and data, but also you will be provided with an extensive tutorial video demonstrating how you can create the geometry, how you can mesh and define the needed settings such as pre-processing, processing and also post-processing in the ANSYS Fluent software all by yourself. Additionally, post-technical support is available to clarify issues and doubts. To benefit from Master CFT services, including simulation, consultation, and training, visit our website www.mastercft.com and contact us via info at mastercft.com.